Okay, this might be a preliminary response because I might go into detail and specifics after this or I might leave it here. I'm not going to say her name in this one. I've said her name a few times before though, but not right now. But if I do respond after this, you'll know for sure who she is because I'll be showing you what she said. Now, she's one of these uh, black power people and she has an, she has an issue with the need for leadership of a people. And like I've said before, I've hit this leadership, this, uh, I've hit this anti-leadership thing upside the head for years. And one of the things I'll suggest to folks when you're listening to these people is to, I suggest that people listen closely. Because when they say we don't need leadership, remember what they said just before that. Or when they say that we don't need leadership, pay attention to what they'll go on to say. Because what they said before or after they say we don't need leadership will destroy their very own position. For example, destroying their own position. Now for a few years I've heard her talk about how she wants to establish an ethno city. Wakanda forever! Or in other words, an all black place somewhere. Establishing a place with just black people. But think about it. A all black place with no official organizing body to put it together and not only to put it together but no organizing body to maintain it think about that now she spoke of invaders you know people who may want to come in so you know she'll need security right but with no leadership Imagine what a black place would look like with nobody in charge of it. But before we can imagine that, we'd first have to pretend that it could be established without leadership in the first place. We'd have to pretend that it could just form without nobody forming it. Imagine that. She even did the title switch thing that I talk about. How they'll remove the word leader and replace it with another description, even though the replacement description is synonymous with the word leadership. She said the people that she want to work with will already know what to do. Okay, that makes no sense in and of itself, but she went on to talk about how there will be rules that people will need to follow if they want to come in. Question. Why need rules for people? who already know what to do. She did a lot in her reaction, like collecting money, accumulating and consolidating money, and not just her money, but other people's money. But with no leadership, imagine that. No treasurer, bookkeeper, nobody. Y'all think about that. Like I said, she did a lot in that thing to destroy her own position. And you know what else she did? And I was waiting for it too. And it finally arrived. What did I tell y'all are one of the reasons that they speak against the need for leadership? It's because they want to be seen as the leader. And she began to do exactly that. Described what she wants and don't want and who can be part of and who can't and even talked about handing people work assignments. Like a boss. Oh, she did a lot in that response. And uh, you know what? You know what? As a matter of fact, I will show y'all who I'm talking about. And what I've said so far is nothing compared to the other stuff she said, but. How are you going to say that you want a black city with finances and uh, job assignments and saying that you only want to be with like-minded people? And you even said that Christians will be barred from your city. How are you going to say all that then turn around and say that you don't want to be part of a group? Makes no sense at all. The real ISIS one is her name. Here she go. Yes, but it is a new day. It is a new day. It's a very uh, technologically advanced world. There was some footage of what happened in MOVE, but there were also a lot of people that were trying to cover up the narrative. So what I mean by that, and also 
I will say it's a little bit different because they all lived in a house together, right? And what we're talking about is doing something that is unformal, right? Because we're not trying to control each other or be a part of a group, if you know what I mean. Now, why they destroy their own position every time? See, the thing is, these people are not in opposition to me. Me, I say people need leadership, but it's not me they're opposing. They only think they're opposing me when really they're in opposition to nature because human beings, we're pack animals, meaning we group together. We will do that. And I don't care if you go join an online gaming community. We will group. And the reason that all one needs to do is keep listening and wait for the inevitable destruction of their own position is because they're not in opposition to me. They're in opposition of the natural order of things. That's why none of them can make sense. A black place with no officials to establish it and maintain it. Imagine that. Makes no sense at all. Yeah. <laughs>